How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword and today I have some amazing news about the Brawlhalla Battle Pass including a reveal that has never been seen yet and I'll get to that but first I want to go over everything that we know about the Brawlhalla Battle Pass which will be coming to the game very soon. So to do that we're going to go to brawlhalla.com slash battle pass. This is where they've been releasing all the new information about the Brawlhalla Battle Pass. So if you want information as it becomes available, I would recommend going to this website as well. They give new reveals every few hours or every day or whatever. These are all the reveals that have been done so far. We only have a few left, including myself, obviously. So what I want to do is kind of go over all the information that they've dropped and then I will give my reveal. So the very first thing, let me go ahead and turn Brahalla music down real quick. The very first thing that I want to show you guys is the first reveal, which was from Brahalla on Twitter. This is the very first trailer we saw of the Battle Pass. Amazing. Let's actually watch that again because it was like really low quality. Pretty cool. Yeah, alright, thank you Twitter for keeping it amazingly low quality, but yeah, there you go. You guys can click on that if you want to see it as well. The next reveal was from Lemon Empress, but um, it was basically just a, an awesome, amazing piece of art that she did of the Hattori, so very cool. This is the skin that is going to be the very last thing that you get in the Battle Pass, is the Tier 85 Hattori skin. The next reveal was from Baron <laughs> uh, he actually had a uh, a quiz, and uh, you could win a battle pass. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> no, that would have been cool. You could win a uh, Metadev Azuri skin if you answer the quiz. I did the quiz, and it was actually really cool. Amazing. Next reveal was from Crocky. This one is actually a different legend. Let's take a look. Another skin. There you have it. Man, such epic hype music. There you go, guys. So that looks like it's going to be a Zariel skin. And I really am happy about that because obviously I really love Zariel. So next reveal was from Jade Wares, which was actually a beautiful piece of art on that Zariel skin. Not sure on the actual name of the Zariel skin. But that's what it looks like. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So then we have Defensive. The man. The myth. The legend. This is what Defensive had to reveal. I like his video too. This was really cool. A bit loud. I'm going to turn it down. Another skin. This one is Artemis. Man, look how crazy that looks. It looks like an alien took him over. Or her, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> That's a girl. So anyways, wow. What a reveal. All of these items that you've seen, guys, will be in the Battle Pass. Next reveal was from Tataya Furqueam, which actually is an amazing piece of art of that Artemis skin. Wow, that is just beautiful. And then Egg Soup. Oh, I love Egg Soup, by the way. He actually has a really interesting reveal. This is a 12-minute video. But these are all of the Battle Pass weapons that you'll be able to get in the Battle Pass. If you want to see Egg Soup rank these weapon skins on a tier list, I recommend checking out his video. But those are the weapons. Wow. So check that out. We got the sword, the orb, the blasters, the hammer. The spear, the axe, the bow, the katars look incredible to me. The cannon. My favorites are probably the cannon, the sword, and the katars. But that's just me. Definitely check out his video. And then guys, just seconds ago, or minutes ago, we had another reveal. This one came from the official PlayStation Twitter. Let's check this one out. A 
Let's see if I can watch it again in higher quality. Like, why is the quality so terrible? All right, the quality was terrible, so I apologize, but check that out. So this is going to be a skin that progresses the farther you go in the battle pass. There's the first version, the second version, whoa, and then the third version, which I'm assuming is the final version. Wow, right? Absolutely stunning. That is terrifying. And by the way, I, I'm just going to mention the fact that the official PlayStation Twitter is tweeting about Brahalla to 18.2 million followers. That is amazing. So thank you for that. And guys, last but not least, we have my reveal. Which, as you guys know, most of you guys guessed that it's a podium. Well, you're about to find out. All right, right. Here we go, guys. Are you ready for this? Now, mine, my reveal doesn't actually have any sound, but it's a very short video clip. This is what it is, guys. That was literally it. All right, let me let me show it again. Let me show it again. So it's an exclusive progression podium. You saw the other skins. I'm not sure if all of the skins have progression. We know that the Petra one does and the, the Hattori one. I'm not sure about the Artemis or the Zariel skins, but I'm assuming they all progress, but I'm not sure. But this is a podium that progresses. So this is the level one version of the podium. And then if we slowly fast forward, this is the level two version of the podium, which adds a lantern and a little bit of red leaves up here. And then the level three version of the podium, which I'm not sure if it's the final version or not. Oops. Looks like this. So the tree, the red leaves have turned into a whole red tree in the back. And then we also have some blue floating orbs and some lanterns that are, that are actually lit up on the podium. I am so excited for this, guys. It, I can't believe that Brawlhalla is actually coming out with a Brawl Pass or a Brawlhalla Battle Pass. It's going to be amazing, guys. Let me know what you think of the Brawlhalla Battle Pass in the in the comments below. I'm definitely excited to see what you guys think. I think this is going to be amazing. So the last thing that I want to go over, guys, is some of the information that they have down here. So this is a lot to read. Um, you can just read this yourself if you don't want to uh, have me read it to you. But I'm going to go ahead and read it just so because there is a lot of good information here. So, Brahalla Battle Pass Season 1 is coming soon. They don't say the exact day. There's going to be a free version and a paid version. The paid version is only going to cost $9.99. $10. Which, in my opinion, is very, very reasonable. I mean, you, you already saw all the different skins and whatever that you're going to be able to get. I mean, realistically, one of those skins that is, is uh, three different tiers of skins alone would be like $10. So... You're going to get so much value for the price here. It's going to last for 12 weeks. And this battle pass casts legends to Demon Island. A dark province filled with free and premium content for you to unlock. I'm not sure if Demon Island is going to be its own map. Or just like the, the general theme of the battle pass. Demon Island is the passage to the demon realm. And a battleground where day and night exist in unison. Valhalla legend Hattori... The Demon Bride is at home in these harrowing lands as she takes on her ultimate form in this realm. You can navigate Demon Island by progressing through 85 tiers of Brahalla content centered around Oni, Spirits, and Lost Souls, with Tier 85 unlocking Hattori's epic skin. You progress through Season 1 Battle Pass by earning gems through general, daily, and weekly challenges. One daily mission is granted to each player every day, with the ability to store up to three daily missions at a time. Once per day, you can recycle a daily mission for a new one. Weekly missions open up each new week of the Battle Pass and will not expire until the end of the Battle Pass season. So I'm not sure if the daily missions of the Battle Pass where you get gems actually replace the, the regular daily missions in Brahalla. So I'm not really sure about that or if they're in addition to those. So I guess we'll find out. You can advance Battle Pass tiers in the free pass, offering rewards such as avatars, 
Color schemes. New color scheme. Weapon skins. Taunts, sidekicks, and more. The Gold Battle Pass offers you Demon Island's finest premium loot and accessories and will immediately grant you all rewards for previously unlocked tiers upon purchase. Additionally, weekly missions, additional weekly missions are available when you own the Gold Battle Pass. So, I'm assuming in the free version, you're going to get the daily and weekly missions. But if you have the gold version, you're going to get even more missions, which will allow you to unlock the stuff even faster. So, that's about it, guys. That's all the information we have so far. It's going to be on all systems, PS4, Xbox One, PC, Nintendo Switch, when it comes out. Holy cow, guys. This is amazing. Let me know what you guys think of the Brawlhalla Battle Pass. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. This is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.